my name's Mella and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome again. Anyways, in this tutorial, I wanted to do like a really colorful peacock. I look super bronzy because none of my foundations fit me except MAC because I was super dark back in the day and that's the only foundation that fits me. <laughs> but I mean, it's full coverage, it's flawless, loving it, loving it, you dig? Before we get started, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, make sure you guys do that right now because it's a simple click. And if we aren't friends on my other social media, which is Instagram and Snapchat, make sure you guys go follow me after the video because I don't want to stop you now. And let's get right on it, shall we? Using a flat brush by Ulta and a rumor base, a rumor base, and the P. Louis base, rumor, rumor. I'm just gonna be packing this throughout my whole entire lid. This will definitely help keep the eyeshadows in place, but not only that, it will give them life. Be that. This will definitely intensify this look, which is what we need because I'm going for like a bright peacock color look. Eyeshadow look though. And with a fluffy brush, we are just smoothing out the harsh edges of the concealer or the base. This brush is from Luxie. It is the 205 brush. I'm currently obsessing over these Juvia's Place palettes. I actually purchased six and it was like a discounted deal. I'm sure they still have them. It's like a bundle of six on their website. Super pigmented, dude. I love these. Every time like my family comes over and well, just because these polishes are just laying out because I've been using them literally every time I do like my makeup, my family's like, oh my God, can I brush them? I'm like, no, you cannot. You can go order some. The first palette I'm going to be going in with is the Zulu palette. I'm going to be using this bright ass orange. Woo! Using my E27 brush, I'm just going to be packing this beautiful bright orange all over my lid. Not all over, just pretty much on top of my crease. Going from corner to corner, packing this beautiful color. And now I'm gonna go in circular motions. I'm going very gently, barely touching the bristles onto my skin and just blending it. Just going soft circular motions. If you're hearing a lot of Disney music, it's cause my son and my husband are partying it up right now in the other room. I'm just gonna stretch this color out just a little bit. Probably like that. That's the furthest I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna blend the remaining color inwards because if I go out, I might get some fallout or I just might blend it too much. And I'm trying to keep it clean today because you guys know how messy I am when I do my shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my brush with this switching pan I got at Ulta. Using the same palette, same brush, going in with this bright yellow, tapping out any excess product. Blend that on top of the orange. I honestly just love the way orange and yellow blend together, so this is gonna be a colorful look. And yellow always makes everything pop. <laughs> and not only that, I just felt like it, there was just too much skin going on right here. So I just wanted to cover that up a little bit with some yellow. Going back with the orange color, I'm just gonna lightly press it on top of my crease because we are gonna cut it. Cut it. So I just wanna make sure the orange didn't disappear when we added the yellow. Cutting my crease again using the P. Louise and my flat brush from Ulta. I'm just gonna do a basic cut crease following my lid. Or following my crease, but following my lid. And we are just gonna pat it down. In this palette, I'm gonna go in first with this shimmery lime greenish color, I would say. Using my E14 packing brush, I'm just gonna pack this nice shimmery color onto the first half of my crease, of my cut crease. I should have got a more precise packing brush, but I can still do this. 
going in with this turquoise shade using the exact same E14 brush. And I'm just gonna pack that right by that shimmery lime green color. And we are just packing it. Next palette I'm gonna use is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. And using the same brush, just cleaned it out. I'm gonna go ahead and use Dahlia. And I am just gonna apply that at the end of my lid. Just packing it. <laughs> fuck with that song like I totally am all about that song but I skipped the part where I added my lashes these lashes are called party time Woo! pump 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 get it get it uh, 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 that's the way it anyways these are one of the lashes that I'm gonna be selling um I don't know if anybody you guys know but I just started my lash brand and I'm so excited we will be launched in late August party time is actually the name that my husband chose for these particular lashes because he was just like yeah like when girls want to party they can do their makeup and be like oh yeah time to get my party time lashes so funny I swear I'm gonna hold off about my whole lash line etc 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 I'll probably even make a video about it but right now let's just focus on this look and yeah the next thing I'm gonna go in with is my Suave Party Time or Party Dance Party. And I just added some Mac Fix Plus just to get it started. Mixing it in together so I can just start applying this. Applying this onto my waterline. Using a Morphe M507 brush, I am just buffing this color. The color I'm using is Dahlia, the same color I used right here. And I'm just lightly buffing that next to Dance Party. Cleaning that brush out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab Zodu or Zobu. I'm gonna use Zobu. And I'm just gonna lightly blend that under Dahlia. I'm looking super festive right now. I absolutely love this makeup look right now. Super fun. With the same brush, I'm gonna grab Grisa and apply that onto my inner corners. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this turquoise color and also apply that onto my inner corner. Ooh, it's a party. Using my Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC, I'm just gonna apply this right underneath my lower lash line and I'm just gonna be blending it down like this. Oh, I need my mirror because I can't see. And I'm just using my same flat brush that I got from Ulta. And I'm just blending that down now. I totally forgot to apply my Smashbox primerizer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to where I didn't apply the concealer. Oh, I fucked up. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The foundation I'm going in with is by MAC. It's the Studio Fix Foundation. Because right now, this is the only color that fits me, unfortunately. It sucks. Freaking sucks. And I'm just blending this down my neck. Reason being is because I got dark. That's it. I got dark. <laughs> It's summer, it's a hundred and like 30 degrees outside. Not really, but it feels like it because it's so hot and I don't want to go outside because it's hot. Don't get me wrong, I love summer, but not when my freaking body is breaking out. I have eczema, so when it's too hot, my body starts breaking out and it sucks. Oh, There's ways for me to take care of it, but honestly, I just rather stay inside with the AC. I really love how this foundation just really does make my eyeshadow pop. It's just because I'm so dark. <laughs> just highlighting a little bit using my. Come here, baby. Come, mommy. <laughs> my son knows that I'm gonna go to work right now, so he's like, "Mommy, don't leave me." Oh, I got it. Don't worry. 
<laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna blend this out. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the yellow corrector color. And I'm just blending this beautiful color onto my skin just to give my skin a little bit of life. A little bit of vida. Bam. And I'm just gonna touch up my under eyes because I'm gonna hit it with some translucent powder. Go and get with my Morphe G35 brush. I'm just applying this translucent powder throughout my face to set it, making sure nothing moves like my son. He's moving so much right now. How many women out there are moms and have to do this all the time when they do their makeup? I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer onto my face. This is the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer using my Morphe N142 brush. Apply some onto my hairline and blending it towards my forehead, my chin, and my jawline. Oh, you wanna grab that? Oh, you wanna close it? Oh, no more, mom. Okay, no more bronzer, mommy, no more. So whatever product I have left over on my brush, I'm just gonna use it for my nose to do a mini contour. For highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use Illuminati by Artist Couture. The brush I'm using is a Morphe M501 brush. Sorry, I was about to burp. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it on the... Don't touch it! Please don't touch it. It's going to spill it everywhere. Oh, my guy! Okay, I'm going to use a little bit down my nose. On the tip. You want to get down? You want to go daddy? Daddy. Go with daddy, okay? One, two, three, go! I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlight on my temples. And you know what, since I didn't add any highlight on the top of my brow bone, I'm gonna go ahead and add Illuminati on there as well. I went ahead and lined my lips with a Jonte Blue liner. And now just hitting my lips with MAC Cosmetics Myth Lip Gloss. Why did I sound unsure saying that? It is definitely MAC Cosmetic Myth Lip Gloss. The last thing I'm going to do to this eye look is just add some mascara. Oh. Alright beauty babes, this is the end of this peacock look tutorial. I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed it. And if you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Like that shit if you truly did. <laughs> If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, this would be a perfect time to do it. And if you guys aren't following any of my other social medias, which is Instagram and Snapchat, make sure you guys follow me there so we can be friends. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye, babes.